Hi, it is Leslie, and welcome to another Creepy Meal Monday. Today we are making creepy rats and rat tail pasta. And this is so simple. You are going to first start out with some ground beef and make a meatball recipe of your choice, seasoned the way you like it. And then you're going to shape your meatballs into little oval shapes with one pointy end that is going to be your rat's body and his head. Then you're going to add two little ears on top, just like this. And then I used a knife just to fine tune the ears a little bit. And once they're done, I put mine in the oven for about 325 for 30 minutes. I could have cooked them in the pasta sauce maybe. I wasn't really sure, so I just baked them and they did turn out pretty good. So while they were baking, I went ahead and cooked some angel hair pasta. And then once it was done, I drained out half of the water and then I began adding some black dye. And I didn't have a whole lot of dye left, so this is what I ended up with. So I pulled out a few noodles for embellishments later and then it was time to fill the plates. And you can see that the black pasta turns purple. <laughs> Once the rat tails are on your plate, you're gonna cover them with blood, AKA sauce. And then you're gonna place a piece of pasta on top for the rat's tail, and then you're gonna put your plump, juicy little rat on top of that, just like that. Now, doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> And of course, what else do rats like? Cheese. Sprinkle some cheese on top and it was dinner time. Enjoy. <laughs> For this one, I just used some store-bought pie crust. I had two of them here and I began to just shape a face. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to make. I probably should have went with a jack-o'-lantern face. That would have been much cuter, but I went for a creepy face that wasn't so creepy. And I was going to use my pie crust for a shepherd's pie, which I already made the mixture. I can leave a recipe in the description box for a shepherd's pie that I use. And instead of leaving the mashed potatoes on top, I covered them with the pie crust. We've got to add some wrinkles and some creepy scars. He needs to be spooky. So here is the shepherd's pie mixture. And then I'm going to top it with some mashed potatoes. And then I am going to put the creepy face right on top of that. And then I added some black olives for his eyes and then just some patches of skin to try to make it look a little bit creepier. And then I topped it 
with an egg wash and put it in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. And voila, here it is. So once I pulled it out of the oven, I did use some of my bottled blood. And it is a sweet blood, so I didn't want to put it all over. So I put a little bit in its mouth around its teeth because you really couldn't see the difference between the crust and the mashed potatoes. He still doesn't look creepy enough for me, but it worked and honestly, it was delicious. So let's cut into this creepy face. I should have used some tomato paste in his mouth. That would have been perfect. Had I thought about it, I would have done it before, before putting the teeth in next time. Best tasting face I ever ate. So I hope this inspires you to make something creepy and disgusting for your family. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.